You guys are you guys are rolling right now. That's seven straight games with a point. Uh, how good is the feeling in that room? Yeah, um, I mean, I don't think any of us even processed that until it was brought up after the game. But I think, you know, the good feelings are coming from just having depth. I mean, we got a lot of guys that are contributing in the lineup right now, and a lot of guys that are, uh, you know, seeming to gel together. So as long as we can, you know, kind of keep harnessing that, you know, develop as a team, you know, this late in the season, it should uh, should work well for us moving forward. That's just the thing. It's you know, one night it might be Jansen, and today Henry and, and Daniel step up and, and contribute. So is that kind of like you just touched on that idea of depth coming through throughout the course of this lineup? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, just the contrast to the beginning of the year when we were you know really searching for for just production from from everybody pretty much. It's uh, it's nice to be kind of on the opposite side of that, and and yet yeah, give some guys some confidence and, and let some lines gel here. And uh, yeah, it's only going to help us. How big a boost is that when you see like Christian Michael get that goal, and it's a shorthand, and you guys are obviously a very good special teams team, but when when you guys do that, especially on a game that you know, like you said, big crowd, feeling good, how much of a boost does that give this club? Yeah, for sure. I mean, again, I think it was brought up to us before the game, but we let in the first goal in the last couple of games in the first like five minutes, you know. So that was something that we wanted to make sure didn't happen. And, and yeah, when we can get a shorthand goal like that, kind of swing the momentum, it uh, helps a lot. Torgerson and Nikan, the two younger guys that had good games today, what have you seen from their development over the course of the year? Yeah, I mean, they're both guys that, that play a lot of minutes for us. And yeah, Henry's, he's developed so much in terms of, uh, you know, a solid 200 foot center for us. And he, and he takes up so much responsibility on, on the penalty kill and, and when we're looking for a good shutdown. And, and then torgi has been, you know, consistently putting up good points on that power play unit, and he's got such a great shot. And the funny one tonight, but but I mean, he's he's in the right spots, and he's getting scoring chances all night, and he's making things happen. So, I mean, just their progression throughout the season is something that's definitely contributing to to our success this this late as well. And our scary Salmon played the majority of yesterday's game and today's game. What did you think from his performance today? Yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, we kind of left our vote to dry in that first period last game and and we were you know happy to have Oscar come in and, and and help us at least get that point but but yeah I mean we have two goalies that that work well off of each other and and can come in at any moment and and, and help us win and and yeah that gives us a lot of confidence as well and last one for me how big of a, of a boost is it to have your captain back in the lineup yeah I mean it's he's such a key part and 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 he's got such a good such a good pulse on our locker room and and everybody feeds off of him. Like he, he really is that, that heart and soul of our, our dressing room. And, and it's just so good to have Jimmy back in our lineup because he adds, he adds so much grit, he adds so much stability, and he adds so much confidence for us. Nice yes. was that to find the back of the net too, Jeff. I mean, we thought you found one the other day, but it was Dominic's goal. But uh, what can you say about finally finding the back of the net here after a little bit of a dry spell? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been, it's been a long couple, couple weeks here. Um, not trying to change too much, just trying to do things the same old way. And, uh, I got confidence in my game and, and you know the the thing with you know kind of scoring in the fashion that I tend to score in is sometimes they'll sit there for you and, and sometimes you got to chase them down a little more but um, yeah I mean it feels good but not changing anything here. just wanted to ask you about the crowd you had a good crowd uh, the last game and a really good crowd today and you, how much do you guys feed off that energy I mean they're doing the wave you know up 4-1 in that third period it seems like the, in the, obviously a lot of kids there's a lot of excitement in that yeah, that's the first time I've seen the wave in a while, eh? <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. I was hoping we could have got some pancakes for them. But, I mean, our, our, our crew here does such a great job of getting, getting teams involved. I mean, you see even just anthem singers. we got choirs out every night, and you see their families in the crowd. You see these superhero days. we got Military Day coming up. We had Pride Night, you know, last weekend. And it's, it's, it's just so great to, to have all these, you know, communities out and supporting us. And, and, and we feel like we get to be a part of their community for, for a little while too. And, and you know, it, it allows guys to experience a little bit more of Manitoba and what Winnipeg has to offer. And, and yeah, we, we love having the community being part of our games and, and we love getting to, uh, you know, see a little bit into uh, what they, you know, kind of represent in terms of, you know, their involvement in Winnipeg as well. So it's, it's awesome. And yeah, it's, uh, you know, a tip of the hat to our, our crew here that puts those, those events together. Superhero day, who's your favorite superhero? Oh man, I like Thor. <laughs>